What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Seth and we are back again for some more Terraria 1.3. Now the reason that I'm actually paused right now is I still have all the loot that we were getting in the last episode. I was actually just trying to make my way up to the top and I had to start recording because out of nowhere the Eye of Cthulhu is here and ready to fight. So I don't really know what happened. Oh my goodness, I don't know its battle pattern. I don't know its battle pattern very well. Okay, it keeps doing weird dash attacks and stuff. Hopefully, we're going to be able to beat him, but I very much doubt it because we are actually not damaging him very much at all. Let's actually switch to our gun right now and see if this thing's any better. Nope, just barely. <laughs> it's about doing the exact same amount of damage, but we may be able to take him for the sheer fact that he is barely hurting us. We are actually not taking that much damage at all, and the fact that he's underground... Where'd he go? The fact that he's underground is actually very good he left because it's daytime <laughs> okay that's what happened hardy har har so there is like so much loot that i am trying to get my hands on right now uh dang it i totally thought that something like that was gonna happen but hey whatever oh geez so now I know, now I know what was happening in the last episode when it said like, oh, the, you feel like something's watching you or something like that, right? So that must have been what it was. So anyway, now we are finally up at the surface uh, because there are so many treasure chests down there, which I'm glad that we kind of had to start recording anyway because I definitely wanted to get most of that stuff on camera. So I'm actually going to set this up right here. And then let's warp ourselves out of there and try to deposit some of our stuff, get it all out of the way. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> but let's get as much of it as we can back into our stashes. Uh, this gun, yeah, it's not nearly as good as our beautiful boomerang. I might actually end up selling that one. This lure is very, very good and handy, but yeah, we don't necessarily need it. Also, that lizard temple that we ended up running into in the last episode, turns out that that is actually a dungeon that you deal with once you get to the end of the game or something like that. I'm not sure if it's an expert mode or something. I... I honestly am not exactly sure, but I do know that it is a very, very deadly place, that is for sure. I'm just trying to get an eye right here and see what we've actually got for all our gear and everything that I can actually deposit. Uh, so I can put these weird stabs in here. This I was actually going to put out in the middle of nowhere with us. Uh, I like this flare gun. I guess the fact of the flare gun is that we could get rid of our glow sticks. I do like the fact that we've got more glow sticks, though than we do of the flare gun. Now, I, I'm not going to do that much inventory management on camera, like, uh, as far as most of this stuff is concerned. Okay. But for right now, I just figured that, hey, why not? You know, we can we can kind of just do this a little bit and get it on camera because, hey, whatever. Th this way, we kind of, like, you get to all see, like, what I have for all my organization and stuff like that. I guess we'll hang on to that one because it is a good alternative that gives us more movement speed. And movement speed is a good thing. Uh, we don't need our skates right now because that is something that... Ooh. That is something that we would need when we go over to the ice area. Now, I know that we have to hang on to most of these things uh, because later in the game, you can actually combine them with a bunch of other stuff. Quick stack. Quick stack. Nope, because we don't have this piece of wood in there already. Uh, I have my webbing over somewhere else. These statues we can actually put down, which is very, very fancy. And we probably don't necessarily need to keep our TNT and stuff right now. Uh, also, definitely, I don't even know what to do with the honey dispenser, but I, because I didn't get a chance to read up on it or anything like that. But we will use it. I am sure that we will. I will deposit the crimson block because I know that we can use that for a bit of crafting. Let's also bring up the merchant, see if he's got any of that rare stuff we're supposed to buy. No, he's got blue flares and stuff like that now. So that's very fancy, but not something that we actually need. We don't need these bombs, although they are very handy for digging in a jiffy. That's for sure. I'm going to set these statues up down here just for kicks, just because they look kind of cool. It's like our little trophy room type of thing or something. Where is the gunner? Where is that gunner? Oh, there he is. Okay, so he took our first house. So let's see. What does this guy got? What do you got, Buster? He's got the mini shark for a million dollars, which isn't worth it right now. 
And furthermore, I'm pretty sure it shoots stars, doesn't it? So that thing actually costs quite a bit. That pistol is not really worth it, and we do have bullets and stuff, but we don't really have anything that makes a sonar thing? Cool. We, we don't really have anything that calls for us to use a gun right now. This is also where I have all our at-home stuff that we don't need to carry with us. So we don't need to carry the fishing rod. We don't need to carry the bug thing because that's not where I'm rocking right now. We do need to get ourselves more. Where are they? We need wood. We need wood so that we can get ourselves a bunch more torches. We need as many as we can get, like seriously, because we're already running very, very low. Now, I don't know if there's a faster way of stacking torches, but what I do know Bloop, is that if you click with the left and right mouse button at the same time, get out of the way, Ralph, then you can actually craft stuff like 10 times faster. Wow, we got so many ropes, I don't even know how to deal with them. We can also get rid of some of this. Oh, I need to have a separate chest for bait. <laughs> I definitely do. But you know what? We'll do that another time because as for right now, I want to go back there because there was some crazy gear that I saw inside that cave and that's kind of why I really wanted to get on camera. That is where we're putting extra wood down here is where I'm putting my cobwebs. That's right because I'm kind of still getting the hang of everything that I actually have set up. I do like this slime th slug thing. I should have also left our... Uh, other fishing stuff back in one of the arrow chests, but hey, whatever, that's okay. The lesser healing potion is definitely something that we could probably, like we can probably deposit this better one right now. I'm gonna organize my chest a little bit better once I actually come back here off camera. Raphael the painter has arrived, what? <laughs> Hello, Raphael. He looks like, he looks like Mario or something. Hello, what do you do? Oh my goodness gracious, what is all of this? He sells us a paintbrush, a paint roller, paint scraper that would get rid of paint. You can actually paint the backgrounds in this game now. My goodness, the customization. What is this? Daylight can be placed. Oh, I guess these are just paintings, right? Then there's wallpaper? <laughs> what? What is all this, man? Why are these paintings so expensive? Bubble wallpaper. Oh, that would be a background block, right? That's why they're like one silver each? Or would it be a ton of them all at once? I don't really want to test that out right now. I didn't even know the painter existed. My goodness gracious. So that's going to be something that we are going to have to... Uh, I I'm going to have to read up on that guy after we're finished with this episode, everybody. Because my goodness, I didn't know that you could paint in this game. That's crazy. That brings custom, like the customization in this game, just like, I can't believe how advanced it's gotten. Like, it's like, they clearly favorite this game over Starbound, don't they? Because seriously, they, like, they keep developing this game and adding pretty much all the features that Starbound had. And now Starbound is pretty much irrelevant at this point. Because, I mean, you know, even, even when I played Starbound like a million years ago, it hasn't changed that much. It still has changed quite a bit. But I'm just so surprised at how much Terraria has changed. Like, this is absolutely insane. Now, I'm going to put this banner up in this house. Bloop. There we go, because that's going to help us to fight those enemies whenever we come across them. Uh, we also, do we have our TNT? Yes, we do. Good. Because I'm going to blast our way into here, because this will be a faster way for us to actually get into this place. Other than this craptacular water, which I'm going to have to deal with, that's for sure. But as for what we've got right here, let's see, let's see if we can do this. So this is going to be a bit tricky, because I'm going to have to get this perfect. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. Run. Jeez. <laughs> well, that didn't end up working out. Okay. All right. Well, you know what we can do? We can do something like this. Bloop. There we go. Four. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Come on, Zombert. Come and fight the TNT. Oh, it wasn't a big enough explosion. <laughs> Dang it, man. Well, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I do very much like using the TNT, though. Wow, get out of my face, you weird face hugger freak. Get lost. I use our zombie arm. It's still useful in some cases. Not very often, though. There we go. Now, this is probably not going to be enough again because it's not going to do enough vertical damage, is it? Nope. So, I mean, I have to put that in a better spot. We should have just gotten ourselves some sticky TNT, though. 
that would have been very helpful. So you know what we can do? We can do this. Let's do this. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. That'll also scare that spider away. Or not. It'll just piss him off. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Uh, even though that cave that we ended up finding was in a different spot, I should have, I forgot totally, completely that we were supposed to be hanging out on the surface because that was the spot where I ended up getting our cave system. But this will, whoa, whoa, that was a close one. This will probably be a little bit safer to go into it from the underneath. Yes. But there was so much goodies in there, man. Seriously, I, I wanted to show it on camera. Because I, I keep running into goodies. This place, this is supposed to be like an elite or hard mode dungeon or something like that. After you beat Plantaria or S Plantario, I, I don't know. Some kind of crazy plant boss that's only in like a harder difficulty. Get over here, you stupid wasp. Get out. No. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what that weird little jumping bug is, but forget him. Woo. Let's get ourselves up here. Where was that special, beautiful treasure? We almost would have actually beaten that Eye of Cthulhu 2. I can't even believe that we were that close to killing it. <laughs> that would have been awesome, but he ended up going away. Now, I think that the reason that he shows up, I'm looking and I'm seeing another house over there. At least I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, I think it is. So I want to try and get over here because I don't know if that necessarily is a structure uh, we do need to get some of this stuff, of course, as we're, like, getting out of here and stuff. But we got time. We got time to make a little bit of a detour right here. Because I want to see what this is. Not the ore. Not the ore, you understand. There's actually a little cave system right here. At least as far as I can tell. I see some tungsten on top of us as well. But maybe I'll get that off camera. Yeah, there is a structure here. And some kind of weird stone thing. What is this? What's happening? Oh, that's giving us something. Sharpened melee weapons have armor piercing. <gasps> that's very, very cool, man. That is awesome. So what do we got here? We got some silver. We got some more torches. Recall potion. We don't need lead. More rope. Good. Angel statue and an armored band of regeneration. Slowly regenerates life. Now, I'm pretty sure that that is actually a very good um, item to actually run into. Although, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to use it over most of the other stuff that we have. Is there anything else? I don't I don't think so. There, there's this weird brewery thing, which we do already have one of those uh, crafted in our house. I don't know if it necessarily does anything. Maybe it does. I didn't really read on it because for the most part, I don't really care about like most of the uh, house aesthetic stuff. Get out of here, you stupid beetle. Delicious beetle bug. Oh my goodness. That was a close one. Whoa. There we go. Okay. So now we can get this bunny statue, which is another statue that spawns stuff. This chest I have already looted. That was really weird. There was like a corpse there and everything. <laughs> All right. Coolness. Whoops. I definitely shouldn't have put down our torch, but who cares? We actually finally have some torches. Now, I think this was the chest that ended up having some weird... Yeah. An armored radar detects enemies around you. So that's actually a pretty crazy item. I'm assuming that it's going to be another item that is going to take up, yes, it's going to take up another inventory slot over here. So what do we got here? Armor penetration by five. I don't know how good that is, so I'm going to leave that off for now so that we can get this other thing because that's that's a little bit more useful, isn't it? I, at least I would think so. Seems to be a demon altar over there too. Uh, this is where the other chest was, right? Yes, it is. So we loot all. We got another wand of sparking. This one is actually an attack wand now. <laughs> That's such a crappy spell, man. Does it actually cause any damage? It barely takes any of our mana. That's so cool though, that there's actually so many. Wow, okay. Well, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty darn cool. I, I like it. I like the fact that we're finding like so many weird little neat unique items and stuff like that you know this game has had such a long time to flesh itself out as far as like stuff like that is concerned now what is this down here is there a chest or is it just a bunch of ore yeah it doesn't look like there's much of anything down here other than maybe going over there but that's okay what I do want to do next time next time I'll be a bit more prepared for that eye of Cthulhu too Woo! 
is I want to go down into here, into the jungle, see if we can uh, fight a little bit more enemies and stuff. Maybe get some better resources that we definitely are going to end up needing, that's for sure. Take this, you weird slimo. Like this gold, for example. Because gold is always useful because you never ran into it. I I'm pretty sure for the most part it's actually an aesthetic ore. Uh, I don't know if it has that many properties that are actually, like, useful. But that's okay, too. Swing and a mess, batter, batter. All right, take this, you stupid snatcher enemy. Those guys suck. I don't like them. There, there's some more of that weird, s shiny, shiny plant, shiny, planty, planty stuff. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, man. Wow, that is a lot of mahogany. Why? Are we, like, in the tree of Earth or something? That's really weird. There, there seems to be some kind of a deep, dark hole right over here as well. So maybe this is supposed to be, like, an underground tree? I do notice a chest over on our left, so I do want to check that out. But this looks very interesting, man. What is this? All right. Well, you know what? Let's do this. And hopefully... Come here, you idiot! Come on! Stand still! Stand still, Mr. Wasp! Yeah! There we go! Because I'm noticing that beautiful heart right in there that we definitely want to get. Get out of here, you stupid snatcher! We, we've we been leveling up like crazy, though. My goodness. Like, we're, we're getting so many items and so many things that we just keep running into. There is a very special chest down at the bottom there, so I'm going to have to see what that is. It looks beautiful. My goodness, there's so many. Oh, jeez. What? A violet husk? I don't even know what most of this stuff is. <laughs> there's so many items, dude. Like, seriously, this is insane. I'm going to have to come back. Green torch can be placed. All right, let's place it right now. Just get rid of it. Bloop. That's actually really, really cool. I like the way that that looks. Where was, what was I using? Where's that stupid heart? My God. Goodness, my eyes are not working. Hardened crim crim crimson block. We don't need that. <laughs> wow, I can't even... Oh, we didn't even get the heart because our inventory was full. That's what happened. That was a close one. Okay. Boo, 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 boo. So what is this down here? It's a special chest down at the bottom. Got another one of those weird honey things and a bunch of our junk. All right. Cool. What? What? What did we get? A staff of regrowth? Oh! <gasps> Melee damage, very weak, not great. Creates grass and moss on dirt and stone. That'll be great for my tree farm up in the sky. And also increases alchemy plant collection when used to gather. Ooh! My goodness gracious. We, we've been getting so many great items. Like, seriously. That's nuts. So we can use that to get our hands on some better... Oh, wow. That is awesome. So this keg, you know what? We don't need that because I already have one of those back at our house. I see you trap. I see the trap. I think that's a bat trying to attack us, isn't it? Yep, it is. <laughs> but I see more. Wow, so many treasure boxes, man. Let You know what? Before we dig our way through there, let's actually... My goodness, this is so dark in here. We do need all these cobwebs, though. That's for darn sure. What can we get rid of? What can we get rid of? <laughs> Normal torches. There we go. We'll get rid of our two excess ones. Just because why not? Now, this is looking a little bit deadly right here. Slide right into the hole. There we go. Anything good? What do we got? Silver coin. More torches that we don't need. Although they aren't beautiful. Recall potions, which we doubly don't need. A mining thing. And a feral claws. <gasps> Increased melee speed. What is this? Where does does our melee speed count? You know what? Let's get rid of that stupid plan. I don't care. I don't, I don't care about the crimson blocks either. I don't need that extra. Well, you know what? Those potions are good because I'm pretty sure we can craft them into better potions. <laughs> wow, we're running into so much stuff. There's a night enemy down there and another weird temple. Oh, geez. Okay, they're throwing spears now. 
So that is that same weird Draconis temple. So you know what I do want to do before we end up calling it an episode because I am definitely going to have to go and reorganize our inventory like crazy. But I want to go and see what's in this chest right up here before we continue. And then we'll call it an episode and I will not make the same mistake of not knowing about that Eye of Cthulhu and being completely underprepared so that I'm forced to record again right away but my goodness the the recording is probably gonna be getting pretty pretty heavy like just as far as like what i'm actually doing on camera just because we're running into so many things like rapid fire goodies so this is this is getting very all right that is one heck of a deep pile of water whatever okay all right that's cool I don't care. Oh, that was a huge pile of water, wasn't it? Hello, Mr. Worm. I don't care what you are. I just want to get into that stupid chest that's over there. <laughs> I just want to get in there, man. There we go. I love how his smart mining is smart enough to know not to mine the block that you are attached to with your claw thingamabob. Okay. Get out of here. Get lost. What do we got in here? Anything? Another claw right here. But it's not as legendary as that other one. But this does give us... Okay, this one says it's like a rare thing. But it's not. This is actually the rarer version. Where it actually increases the same attack speed. Uh, and gives us some movement. So I'm going to have to try and organize our inventory a little bit here. Get things a bit more under control. Maybe I'll dump some of the... I don't know. Uh, but either way, we're going to be calling it here for this episode of Terraria, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you would smack that like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. I got a lot of organizing to do. Sign on and stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.